come to my preview of the seven new stations along the Thompson East Coast Line from Tanjung Ru to Bayshore. It's Pris Chu from PrisChu.com back and a very warm welcome back to my channel. So today I am at the preview of the Thompson East Coast Line. <laughs> So the Thompson East Coast Line or TEL for short is Singapore's newest MRT line and stage 4 which goes from Tanjung Ru to Bayshore is now open with a total of 7 new stations. <laughs> So today was the public preview before the official launch on Sunday. So we got to check out the seven new stations, have a look around the neighborhoods, as well as to see what were the fun activities and games at the station. <laughs> My short little recap of the preview of the Thompson East Coast line before it officially launches on Sunday. So I hope you can sit back and enjoy my preview and explore the southeastern part of Singapore before everybody else does and flocks to the area. <laughs> So some of the sights and sounds at Marine Parade include close proximity to East Coast Park, Parkway Parade, 112 Katong Shopping Mall and East Coast Road with its Peranakan heritage. Out of the seven new stations, Marine Parade is easily the biggest station and it was also the most happening station during the preview. There were plenty of activities there, but unfortunately, many of the activities attracted very long queues, such as a game where we had the chance to drive an MRT train, but the queue was hours long, so unfortunately, I did not have the chance to participate. Nevertheless, it looked quite fun though. Seriously, this was the queue to drive an MRT train on a simulator. Honestly, I really did not know that there are so many Singaporeans out there who are aspiring train captains. At Marine Parade Station, there was also this merchandise shop called Neck Shop whereby you can buy SMRT related memorabilia. While the stuff available was quite interesting and innovative such as jigsaw puzzles and umbrellas, I couldn't believe that the queue to pay for merchandise was 2 to 3 hours long. Xiao Lao Lo. These pieces of artwork at the Marine Parade station were also pretty interesting. Some of the posters featured food and things that you will see along Marine Parade area while other posters were an initiative by the Singapore government to get people to stop driving and to be more car light, encouraging people to use cycling as a mode of transport. This can be seen at Marine Parade Station in fact with more than 350 bicycle racks. Bayshore is the last station on the Thompson East Coast Line for now. That is until the Sungai Biduk connector opens up that will lead all the way to Changi Airport but that will not be for at least 6 to 10 more years. Bayshore is a housing and residential area mostly and there are plenty of condominiums but then there will be a new HDB development that is currently in the works. 
So at Bayshore MRT, there were a few interesting things such as the Jenga game which they encourage both adults and kids to play. The two adults who were nominated for the game did pretty well and seemed to be quite an expert at the game, both of them. The block just refused to topple, but it was quite entertaining watching them play. Apart from Marine Parade, Marine Terrace will also be another popular station because this is within very close proximity to the Marine Terrace HDB flats. As well, Marine Terrace is also very near to schools such as CHIJ Katong Convent. As you can see, a few characters from the SMRT's thoughtful bunch also made their way to Marine Terrace and they proved pretty popular with everybody clamouring to get a photograph with them. So Siglap is a residential area which now has an MRT station. Most of the houses at Siglap is landed property and condominiums. But Siglap also has plenty of eating, drinking and dining haunts such as Chong Baru Bakery for those who want Atas Western croissants and Springleaf Prater for those who want to enjoy a hot plate of Prater. There are plenty of options at Siglap and at the station itself, the thoughtful bunch were present in the form of very cute balloons. I thought the balloons looked pretty adorable and I wanted to have pictures with them. Whoever the balloon artist was, was pretty amazing. The Tanjong Katong a very warm welcome to Tanjong Katong MRT Station. So Tanjong Katong is the nearest MRT station to the Coastal Playgrove at East Coast Park. So the Coastal Playgrove is a kid and adult friendly attraction comprising of water slides and eateries where you can head there for fun and simply chill out and enjoy the vibes. If you live at the Mayor Road area, Katong Park will be a godsend to you because this will be the nearest MRT station to your house. Katong Park is surrounded by plenty of condominiums as well as some landed properties. It is also going to be the nearest MRT station to Car Park B1 of East Coast Park at about 800 meters away. So if you are heading to B1 for East Coast Park Park Run, you can come here, check it out and head off to your park run. At Katong Park, there were a few activities such as a toss the ring game as well as a few other games. The queues here were not too long thankfully but there were still some queues but we didn't really queue because the goodies on offer were exactly the same as provided by the earlier stations <laughs> For those who are going to the Singapore Sports Hub, Tanjong Ru MRT Station will offer you an alternative way to get there besides Stadium MRT. So Tanjong Ru is just a short walk over the bridge if you want to get to the Sports Hub. I know that for me, it is going to be a lot easier to get to the Singapore Sports Hub for events and for running. So I am particularly looking forward to coming to Tanjong Ru Station. So Tanjong Ru is definitely going to be useful for residents living in the East Coast area. Coming to 6pm, we are heading back to Marine Parade Station because there is another meet and greet by all five characters from the Thoughtful Bunch. 
Apparently, the thoughtful bunch are 10 years old and after the meet and greet session, there was a short video where we could wish them a very happy birthday. It was pretty fun and lively and I also saw MC Kelly Latimer there. I love seeing Kelly during running events and it was pretty great to see her outside of a running setting this time around. Thank you so much for watching. This is Chris Chu from ChrisChu.com. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will catch you next time. See you and bye. Aenya biru di situ tempatnya darah jelita duduk sekampung lagi kerindu konon